A few years ago, I found myself praying a bold prayer. It was a prayer that came from a place of frustration, wanting to really understand what was going on in the spirit realm. And one night, the Lord gave me a dream in which he exposed to me a spirit that I believe is one of the major oppositions that we are up against in this generation. And it's a spirit of seduction. And the Lord showed me this in the form of the head of Medusa. You know, the story goes, whoever engages with the eyes of Medusa is turned to stone. And I started to get a sense that many across the body of Christ have engaged with the eyes, with this spirit of seduction, and their authority has been neutralized. And so they've not been effective to usher in the moves of God. And so I believe the Lord is calling us to the place of repentance, the place of purity, so that we can be rightly positioned to prepare the way for what he wants to do in the nations of the earth. As people read this book, my desire is that they will come to a place of revelation. They will come to a place of freedom. I remember my pastor reading the manuscript and said to me, James, this is stretching. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, for many people in a Western culture, it stretches them and even people that have been in church to really begin to see things with a different lens. But not just that, but to help you realize that God has called you to a life of holiness. Because in that place of holiness, you can become an agent of transformation to impact the nation. And I believe this is what the desire of the Lord is for us. And so as people read this book, I want them to encounter God in a fresh way. Realize that he's called them to more. And as those chains break off, I believe God's going to raise up an army of warriors that will usher in a great awakening in the nation and the nations.